there's uh, there's something in programming called uh, prototyping, and that is when you are um, you know just starting to to build out your code. So uh, let's say you have a <clears throat> you have something in your some uh, idea in your mind of what you want to write, and uh, you don't want to uh, you know fill out all the details yet. And by the way, this is going to end with a macro called uh, to do. And so, uh, so imagine that uh, that we're doing that right now. So uh, let's say we have a, we have a book, and you know we're prototyping now. So we will put something in here later. But uh, you know this is going to compile, so that's fine. Uh, let's say we uh, we want some sort of book, some sort of book type, and uh, we would like a hardcover and soft cover, and that's good enough for now. And then next we want some sort of get book function. So this will take a, uh, a reference to book and it'll maybe return a string and maybe it won't. So this will be an option string. And um, this is all we want to write for now. Um, <clears throat> now you can see if we uh, if we run this, then uh, it's going to say, hey, we, you told me you're going to give me an option. Uh, and uh, you gave me this, and this this returns a uh, you know just some brackets or the uh, the empty tuple, rather. And um, and let's say we want to you know we're doing a whole bunch of these, so we want to delete book, and uh, we're going to take the book and you know delete the whole thing maybe. So we're just uh, we're just brainstorming right now. And then um, let's imagine we have a uh, this one we're we're writing it out. Um, and then, uh, and then finally, we're going to go to main and say let book type equals book type hardcover, and then we're going to uh, check book type, and we, you know, we put that in there, and so we we have filled out you know this function, and we want to make sure that it works, but we have these two, and. Um, you know, Rust is not uh, is not going to let us do anything here. So this is uh, this is where the to do macro comes in, and to do just uh, just means I'm going to do it later. <clears throat> so if you do that, then Rust will not uh, will not worry about the uh, about what's inside, and uh, so it's uh, it'll ignore this, it'll ignore this as long as you're not using these functions. Like if you uh, if you call get book. Then, then Rust will go inside and it'll call this macro, and the macro actually just panics. So if you go inside the source code, here it is to do, and it says create panic. It gives you this uh, this message, uh, create panic over here. So no matter what you do, it's going to uh, it's going to panic. And so um, to do is only you know acceptable if you. Um, if you um, if you're not going to actually call these functions, and also uh, the types have to be have to be right. So Rust is still going to make sure that this is uh, that this is okay. So you can't say like uh, you know this like this makes no sense. A uh, some reference to a mute mute, mute 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 book or you know something that that makes no no sense at all. You can't like uh, I don't know. You can't do that, so it, it's going to be really confused. So it'll still it'll still check the types. So uh, to do is only for inside the uh, the actual functions, and same thing. You can't uh, my type. You can't put in a uh, type that doesn't exist. It's uh, it's still going to check that, and that is basically what uh, to do is. And you can actually see in the uh, in the explanation um, in the library is. Uh, it's useful if you're prototyping and just looking to have your code type check. So yeah, it's going to check your uh, check your types for sure. And the other, basically the same macro. Uh, there's one called unimplemented, and it does the exact same thing except uh, unimplemented is uh, I don't know, to do means you're going to do it, and unimplemented makes no such claims. It's it's the same on the inside though. If you look at the uh, Unimplemented. I think uh, to do was created just because it's it's so much easier to type. Because uh, I I've uh, I've looked at old videos, and they're all using uh, this unimplemented macro in like 2018, 2019. 
they're all writing uh, unimplemented and then uh, since like last year they just uh, they just use to do and you can see it's exactly the same so to do uh, you have panic and then the only difference is uh, it, it has this word yet in there so it's uh, it's exactly the same on the inside so to do and unimplemented are the exact same thing as far as you need to be concerned and uh, it's super easy so uh, I recommend uh, trying it out when you're doing prototyping